Hello everyone, my name is Joelle Odd and I will be presenting the Educational and Psychological Assessment and its development throughout history. So early writings of various civilizations have provided us with a rich history of assessment. Although assessment has gone through many transformations throughout history, assessments have typ typically strove to identify individual differences in intellectual, personality, and physical traits. Historians have documented various forms of assessment as early as 2,500 years ago in ancient China and Greece, as well as the Enlightened Era and many centuries to follow. Also, from our class, we know that several pseudosciences were developed with the, uh, these similar aims in mind. So the idea of individual differences can be said to have sparked the development of intelligence tests. In 1859, we saw that Dar Darwin's theory of natural selection certainly precipitated scientific in interest involving um, individual differences. Galton, Darwin's cousin, presented the idea of intelligence tests and his student, James McKean Cantell, attempted to create the first intelligence test, but he failed because they weren't correlated with academic achievement. Later, Alfred Binet and Theodore Simon developed the Binet-Simon scale that set the prototype for modern-day intelligence tests. This test was then adapted um, in English by Goddard and Terman in America, and these two men um, helped develop the Army Alpha and Army Beta in World War I. Um, and this test was used, amongst others, to test approximately 3.5 million soldiers. These tests really spurred some development during the 20th century. And it's been said that the outgrowth from these instruments in the 20th century really defined American psychology. So from 1920 to about 1960, um, these earlier assessments were further extended and provided us with a multitude of assessments of specific variety, um, such as projective, personality inventory, and many other standardized group-administered achievement aptitude tests. So for example, the SAT and the GRE. So today we see many of the tests that were initially developed during this era, um, but updated of course. Present-day educational assessment is filled with standardized norm-reference tests for college and graduate students' admission and also standardized criterion reference tests in hopes of measuring the quality of instruction that has been provided. And we see that a lot in America, especially, um, you know, the CAT-6 and the SAT-10 and that type of thing. Today, technology has allowed researchers to develop tests that are both valid and reliable. And as far as for the future, few radical changes are really expected. Um, however, technology may provide us with advances in recording individual differences um, in a bi biological sense. And neuropsychological assessment will continue to expand. Also, it is expected that various assessments will be available in other language other than English. So, for example, Spanish and Vietnamese. I hope this synopsis really um, was beneficial to you, and I really welcome any questions that you have. I'm sure I can answer them as my paper is a lot more detailed. Um, I really enjoyed this class with all you all, so uh, I look forward to viewing yours. Thank you.